Hey everyone, hope all of you are doing great. So in the last video, we have learned that how we can set HTTP header and multiple variables in that. So if you haven't watched, make sure to watch that. In this video, we're going to sanitize the data because you can see that we are taking information from the user like name, email, password. And we don't want that any user provide any malicious code in our database. So we have to sanitize the data before we add into our database. And that's what we're going to do now. So here we are exactly. So this is the helmet we have used earlier. Let's uh, come here. This is the best place which we can use it. So these are the two steps we have to follow. Data sanitization against NoSQL query injected. So if someone's go with a NoSQL query, which I will tell you what it is in our database, then we have to protect from that. And the second one we have is this data sanitizing against site script which call ISS. So any if anybody wants to type any kind of script in your site, so that's what we want to perform a prevent. So these are the two sanitization we have to do. And to do that, we're going to use the package. So if we come here, let me show you the example first, then we'll talk about the package. So let's come back into the login sections. And to log into the application, so, so to log into our application, we need to have the email and the password. But let me show you what is NoSQL's data. So if I make a request, you can see in the body, I'm getting all of these data about the user. Looks fine. So this is the email I need to log into this application. So come here and what I will do, I'm going to simply remove this. I'm not going to provide the email. So this is how you can make a request. So if I make this MongoDB query in the email, so this is the bracket we have to give in that we have to call this MongoDB method and we have to give this empty. And the moment I will make this call, I can easily able to log into my applications. So this is what I have passed. Click on request and you can see it's generated me this token. I'm logged into my application as a guide. So we have to prevent this one as well. It generate me all this data and now we can do whatever we want in the application. So let's come here and let's try to fix that. So to fix this, we have to install a package. So let's bring this down and we have to install NPM I and this package called express Mongo's sanitize you can do this sanitization in the user model data so the moment the user is providing the email and the password you can do this check there but we haven't done that but this package will take the entire work from us so let's install the package here we got the package clear your terminal and this one more package we have to use this npx clean access clean and let me show you what it does and how you can utilize it. So these are the two packages we have installed. Let's close this one. And if you come into the package JSON file here, you will find the entire data. So this is the clean and this is the, the Mongo sanitization. And this is the two we're going to utilize it. So bring this terminal down. And now first thing we have to import it. So we'll say const Mongo sanitize. And it's coming from express Mongo sanitize. So this is the first one and now we have to install the other one which is XX and that's coming from XS clean X double S clean. <laughs> so this is the packages we have and we're going to utilize this both one. So it looks good to me. No more issues we have here. Save it and let's bring here and here we're going to call that. So we're going to use it as a middleware and then we're going to pass this Mongo sanitization. Save it come back to the application and now if you make a call you will get an error so make a call and you will get an error so it says that cannot cast fail for value this and it will fix this issue so this is the fix come here try to log in make a request you can easily able to get log into the application and if you go in the normal way if you go in the that no sequel will not work so that's working fine Hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you. And now we have to use this XX, X double S. <laughs> so we'll use it as a middleware. We'll say app dot use. And here we're going to call this, this function. And what it does, like just imagine that if someone's tried to put the HTML code in the data. So we are taking information from the user like name, email. If someone's tried to put the HTML code in that. So we have to detach that as well. We don't allow to store those HTML. So this will help in that. So if you save it, if you save it and here, what I want to do is let's come back in user and here I want to create 
a new user so what I will do instead of name I'm going to type this HTML with the ID div and ID div I'll get name and this so this is the HTML I have provided in the name if I make a request you can see it will throw me this so the user will get created but it will convert that into a string and it will it will add this so it no longer it will work it will not work but if I comment this and if I just type it the same way it will see you can see it will we add it in our database like this and anybody can manipulate and trigger this as a div hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you guys so this is the two fix we have done in this looking fine to me let's check one more time it look good perfect we can sanitize the HTML code we can sanitize the data and that looks good and that's the only thing I want to cover in this video. Hope you guys have found this video valuable. If you have still any confusion, any doubt, do leave in the comment section. With that, let's move to the next video.